Everyone's getting married this weekend. There's like eight weddings just that I know of in town. I'm not invited to any of them. You know what? If I had a dollar for every time that um, I a girl said that I turned her gay and then I didn't get invited to her gay lesbian wedding, I'd have two dollars, which isn't a lot of money, but still, we're gonna happen twice. Name one song or one band member. Who? Grateful Dead. One second, I just oh, no. text my friend back. This is Metro Boomin' shirt. <laughs> it's this Metro Boomin' oh, twice. Oh, one Grateful Dead song is Friend of the Devil. You just looked it up. Yeah. <laughs> one second, I'm texting a friend back. <laughs> Name one member. You know, Luke I once hiked with... Okay, whatever. More old. Vonnegut and Steinbeck. Yeah, you gotta read Mother Night. It's your dad's favorite. Guys, Avery is oh, hi. Avery Max is my boy magnet. Every time I go out with Avery, I get it on. Oh my god. Because we're two hot girls. Yeah, we're two hot girls. Anyway, that guy had a really cute dog. So you should I might I might be hanging out with him and his dog. I got his number. Well he got mine. Well, oh, oh. Avery's like, I thought he was bold with that hug, and I'm like, he asked me to kiss. I was like, no, oh my gosh, that's crazy. I'm gonna hang out with Avery every day and have a harem by the end of the week. A what? A harem. I'm gonna have a bunch of wives, essentially. Ah. I'm gonna be a Mormon. Woo! <laughs> I think the trick is that Avery gives me my confidence because I, <laughs> I was like, he hates me. He's scowling at me, and she was like, just go up. But then his dog ran at me, so that's probably how he gets all his girls. And they said a girl who hasn't brushed or washed her hair in days couldn't pull. That's what they said, Jasper. But he called me hot. Um, if anyone wanted an update on this situation, he blocked me immediately after that interaction. I think because I rejected his kiss, if I had to guess. But also when I was vlogging myself, maybe he thought I was recording him and thought I was a freak two options i think it's the former and not the latter because i don't think i looked like i was recording him at all ah. give me back my mountain un 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 unleash it is that a what am i trying to say release that's where i was trying to think of i was gonna say release my mountain from your grasp i send my mom videos of moms apologizing to their daughters that's a little hinty hint. It's giving twilight. If only you could see the pine trees. But the clouds are giving twilight too much for the pine trees to be giving twilight. Only so many things can be giving twilight. It's too dry for twilight, let's be real. Let Mount McCaleb free. Free my man. He ain't do shit. Actually, that looks super cool. I'm not meaning to be negative. I'm just joking around. Speak. Have rain smell and book smell going on right now at the same time. I'm gonna come. This one smells just like the fairy books. Oh, it smells just like the fairy books. I feel a bout of hysteria coming on, but I left my opium and my vibrator in town. I guess I'll have to treat it like they treated it in the old days. Oh wait, that's how they treated it in the old days. How am I gonna get over this hysteria? I don't have the seaside. Guys, listen to this Tennyson poem. My heart would hear her and beat were it earth in an earthly bed. My dust would hear her and beat had I lain for a century dead. Would start and tremble under her feet and blossom in purple and red. Where is my... <laughs> this is not helping my bout of hysteria. Did I guys, did I guys, did I show you guys this? Did I guys show you guys this? Isn't it so cute? <laughs> Actually, it's 4.42. I'm late to my daily appointment. I tell you guys that the moths have been following me again? I'm on like week two of the moths following me again. Oh my god, right as I said that, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> Just kidding.
it in. I'm not scared. I just thought that would be funny. They have gotten way more friendly than that with me. Every time, every time I look out here, I just think, this is John Steinbeck's America. This is that bird. The river's too high for me to cross. It was finally getting lower and then it decided to rain for like three days, which thank God, because it smells heavenly of sagebrush. But, I don't know. comes the sun, doo 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 doo, here comes the sun, I say. <laughs> I might as well just gone in the river with all this mountain dew that's on me. Horny when you shouldn't be? Horny when you don't want to be? Look at a spider. It will scare your clit or dick right back into you. Good morning, Mount McCaleb. I love your sweet little head. So true. 25. Young by most accounts. An age which men drank bathtub gin and drove recklessly and listened to ragtime music and danced with women who wore headbands and fringe dresses. For women, it was different. Hope began to dim for a woman when she turned 20. By 22, the whispers in town and at church would have begun, the long, sad looks. By 25, the die was cast. An unmarried woman was a spinster. This is what I've been trying to tell you guys. This is what I've been trying to tell you guys. An Idaho 23 is not the same as a New York 23-year-old man. I am a spinster, and you laugh, but it's true. I am a spinster. Good afternoon. Are you ready for me to stare at you all day? Or for my limit, self set limit of three hours? I just want to kiss them. Well, I guess nothing's stopping me. I think today I should actually be allowed six to nine to maybe even 12 hours of basking hours because um i missed a bunch when it was rainy so i think i'm allowed as much time as i want today actually men are like fire ants because um people blame you for getting bit by them but it's like Okay, I was just standing here, and then I felt, like, this bad sensation, and at first I blamed myself and other things, but then as soon as I realized that I was standing in a fire ant's nest, I walked away, but then even after I walked away and swatted them off, the bites still are stinging me, and they're still hurting. That's men, is what I'm saying. Little bugger, I won't focus on you because you keep moving. One time I fucked this guy who said his favorite animal was ants, and I was like, well, this is going to be terrible. Well, he said that before we fucked. Well, I knew I had to fuck him, though. It was a porn star. It was my job. Anyways, I'm starting to get a little bit of an appreciation right now. That was my point. I wasn't trying to be negative. I do think it's weird to have a favorite animal be ants, though. I don't agree with that choice. Good thing it's not mine to make. Out there's the mines. That's where I pretend my pretend husband is. It's 1928. My husband's a coal miner and we make moonshine up and we make shine up in these here hills and we run it through these here mountains. Don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody, but my husband's also organizing a union 
and don't tell nobody we do not want no union busters up in his business okay it goes down in the honky tonks and the taverns all quietly within whispers and by the time a boss man gets there it's silent he talks class consciousness into the workers but by the time any boss man shows up all they can hear is the mild unrest in the air while he does that, I do my needlepoint and read my stories. Oh my God, there's an ant. It scared me. I read my stories and I do my needlepoint and I tend house. And I tend to my non-existent children. Did you know I actually just made a metaphor about you earlier? Did you know I could end your life just by shutting my book? Not anymore, you know. You probably didn't know. Then I think that this is someone who has done wrong by you. That is re-emerging. It's fine. I'm chill. Venus is in retrograde. People have been popping up out of the past all the time, this whole time. I just thought it would be nice to scream. It's been a few days. Guys, what is this? Oh, you can't see it. It's a robin. Love these guys, these robins with their orange bellies. Why did you turn your belly away from me? The first baby I ever held is in college now. The first baby I ever held is in college now. The first baby I ever held is in college now. High school to me smells like uh, Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume, uh, cigarette smoke, vape juice, and smoke, and uh, uh, weed. Basically, <laughs> Marc Jacobs Daisy and different mists and vapors is what high school smells like to me when I think about it. And when I smell those things, it smells like high school. Don't worry, there's no one here for me to crash into. Look at this fucker. What are you? Oh my god. It looks like a freaking baby hummingbird. Guess who's at another jaw doctor? That's your answer. I'm an eagles girl. Y'all ain't ever gonna guess what's in this package. Well, you guys, I had to drive four hours to the jaw doctor and I have to drive four hours back. So I thought in between, what if I took myself on a, a little date? What if I gave myself a little treat? And now I'm at the promised land. Maybe I'll meet my love here. Maybe I'll be buying celery while he's buying rose. <laughs> It's gonna be so funny for the whole zero people who understand that reference. I have been looking everywhere for this. They don't have it in town anymore. There are tears in my eyes. There are tears in my eyes and they're coming out. I know that these are gonna unfreeze and then I'm gonna have to refreeze them, but at this point, I don't fucking care. I just wanna try it. Gluten-free pasta in every shape nowadays, even lasagna. Are you joking me? It's the best time to be alive. I'm so glad I picked this time to be alive. My Whole Foods cashier was defective. He didn't even say hello to me, let alone say anything about my groceries. This might be the best day of my life. Also, I am not kidding you when I say this. That costs $10 more than my doctor's appointment. Whenever someone cuts me off in traffic, I'm like, fucking asshole, must be Mormon. And then whenever someone does something nice in traffic, like let me on, I'm like, oh, you must be Mormon, that's nice. In Utah, I feel like, obviously. I don't think that when I'm in like fucking New Jersey. Honey, I'm home. More like, bunny, I'm home. Were you waiting for me? Oh, you're so scared. Okay, I'll turn away so you can run away. Ooh. That's nice light right now. I missed you, baby. Eight hours of driving later and the two hours in between. And we're back. We're back. So picked up some mayo on my way there from Poca Hellhole, and you guys will literally never guess what's in this box. You can't see it till tomorrow, though. I'm going to save it for tomorrow like Christmas. So I'm going to open up my little package on Christmas, which is tomorrow, August 26th. 
I wish you guys could smell it. Oh my gosh, the window's open and you can kind of hear Cody Co. coming. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells like sagebrush and it smells kind of wet and like it smells kind of cold but like cool, like a cool summer night. But like, you know, like end of August is starting to cool down. And it smells like the river. I don't know, I just keep huffing. Ah, it's mostly sagebrush, to tell you the truth. It smells great. I used to take this <laughs> sagebrush and other things that I used to put it in water and mix it around and muddle it up. And <laughs> so I was making potions and perfume when I was little. Huh, guys? Just kidding. Your lifespan's not long enough. You probably were not here for that. John Steinbeck's America, one might say. Good morning, world, and all who inhabit it. Oh, wait, there's no water to do. Guys, I told you today was Christmas. Last night, I told you tomorrow is Christmas because I'm going to open that package, but I didn't know it really was Christmas. Fiddler just dropped a project, and First Aid Kit dropped a single right after Mitski just dropped that music two days ago. Oh my gosh, I'm bawling my eyes out. The hour of unboxing is upon us. Now while I unbox this, I want you to... <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm using my freaking J-O-I... Can I say that out loud? My jerk off instruction, uh, freaking sentence structure right now. Now while I do this, I want you to... <laughs> now while I freaking unopen this box, I want you to get... No, just kidding. While I unopen this box, so imagine what it could be. Imagine all the possibilities. Are you so excited? Oh my gosh, there's two layers of this shit. Good. It is fragile. That's your first hint. It is fragile. Your second hint is my hands are going to be on it a lot. This is not a hint. It could come from anywhere. I'm cheap, so mine's coming from Asia. Ugh. It's actually probably less Asian than it is Asian, though. What does this say? Oh my gosh! Hint two! <laughs> that's exactly what it is. I guess that was a hint. Maybe that's exactly what it is. And... But some of you don't know what a liar is. Some of you are like, what the fuck is a liar? Oh my god! Oh, there's a note. Respect, customer. Thanks for your order. I sincerely hope you will be satisfied. You would. I sincerely hope you would be satisfied with my product and service. If there are any questions with the product, please contact me. Okay. Any questions will be answered under one business day. Wow. Meanwhile, if you like my product, I would appreciate some. Meanwhile, if you like my product, I would appreciate so much for leaving me five stars to review. Your support and satisfaction are the greatest encouragement. Oh, that's sweet. There's a little bulldog on it or something. What is that? I don't know. I don't know dogs. I don't know dogs or cats. That's the thing about me. I see a cat. I think cat. If it's orange, I think orange. I see a dog. I think that's a big dog. Or I think that's a small dog. Or I think that's a medium sized dog. It comes with a case. I was trying to keep the box all like safe so that it could be my case and it comes with a case. bag. It smells like a new backpack. I feel like less Christmas now and more like a like a school supply shopping.
or I'm gonna need to miss. Please, dear God, tell me you came with a tuner or else I'm gonna really cry. I messaged them too. I was like, does it come with a tuner? Because I was gonna buy a tuner if it didn't. I'm gonna cry if it didn't. No! I do not see one anywhere. No, why didn't you message me, Bulldog Man? I could have ordered one. In hindsight, I do think that was like a Boston Terrier or something. I don't know why I called that a bulldog. I used to live with a bulldog. I should know better. How do I tune this? Can I tune it with pliers like my banjo? I'm so mad. I messaged that guy. I said, does it come with a fucking tuning rod? And since English is not his first language, obviously, he replied, it is a tuning rod. And so I thought that meant that he... It, Oh my gosh, that dryer is going crazy. I thought that meant that it was going to come with a tuning rod, so I didn't order one. And now I just had to order one, so now I just sit and wait until I get a tuning rod? Are you joking me? I'm going to cry. I'm taking it on a field trip. Literally. And no, I'm not wearing pants or shoes. Get used to it. This is your life now. I'm your mom now. I don't wear pants or shoes. This is where I plan to play you. But... Not today, apparently, because today you sound like this. <laughs> Welcome to America, little buddy. Welcome to John Steinbeck's America, little buddy. It's playing it. <laughs> it's called an airplane. Do you like it? The bird that goes wah, 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 wah. That's a magpie. The ones that go patweet patweet. Those are peewees. And they kind of go peewee peewee. And then the angry birds rah rah. Those are crows. And then um, you got the flickers. Those are my favorite through the barbed wire. Let's go through the barbed wire. There you go. That's Mount McCaleb. He's your new friend. You want to make eyeshadow out of these rocks and potions out of these plants? I feel like this is like the equivalent of when you get a toy on Christmas and then you have no batteries and the store is closed, so you can't go get any batteries. <laughs> I ordered a tuning wrench. We'll get to you. In September, apparently. Estimated delivery. Oh, I'm mad. Oh, I'm mad. <laughs> Guys, it came with one. I'm crying. I'm crazy. It also came with extra strings. Bless up to this man on Etsy. I don't know what has become of me. I don't think I've ever said bless up in my life. Also came with this little cloth and an instruction manual. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Thank God I didn't leave a review yet. I was like, you need to calm down before you give this guy a one star review. And you know what? I'm so calm. I thought that the more strings, the better, because then the more notes to play, but I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes and I've only tuned like four strings. Oh, I hit one that's out of tune, you can tell. I just made this up. Can you tell? It's all I can play with my four strings I got. Okay, back to tuning. Back to the grind. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that one's on a tune, so. We'll get to you, fifth string. Oh my goodness, you have plant in you from our walk. I'm sorry, I'm a bad mother. I'm a bad mother. I let my children get full of plants. <laughs> 19 strings. I'm six in now. 13 strings to go. It just took me, like six strings is how much it takes to tune a guitar. That usually takes me less than a minute, depending on how I to tune my guitars. Even by ear, it will take me less than a minute. I'm working with a tuner right now. Sounds spooky with all the notes close together. 
I gotta stop doing that. Actually, I got the hang of it and got the rest of those tuned in like five minutes. That will never tune in that slow again. <laughs> My least favorite thing about new instruments, dude, is the tuning not sticking. I just tuned this whole thing, and now I have to start back over at the front because the front's already untuned. And then uh, by the, it's already all out of tune. I'm really frustrated right now. I'm just going to be sitting here tuning this all day, and I can't even play it. <laughs> here we go again. Third time's the charm. It for the third time, let's see if it stayed. No, those ones already slipped. Fuck. And those ones? Those ones are good. There's a bunch of fucked up ones still. Some of them are slipping, some of them are staying though. At least some of them are staying. It's, it's helping save me time. I just want to learn a song. Guys, I don't know what to do. I just saw Flicker hit the window and I'm so afraid it's gonna be dead. So I'm taking you with me. Ah! I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> Guys, I just said that those were my favorite birds. I just said that. Ah! I don't know what to do. Those magpies, they always hit at the window, but they never die. That flicker, he just couldn't take it. And <laughs> Do I leave him to get eaten or do I bury him? I don't want to touch him. <laughs> this started out the best day of my life and that was the worst day of my life. I was just minding my business. Played Axel F, Crazy Frog, and then this happened. It shouldn't have died. We should have never built this cabin, and then I would have never ran into it. <laughs> How can I just go back to playing Crazy Frog when one of God's creatures has fallen? Oh. bird is alive. When that king's bird tried to eat it, it woke back up. It was just stunned. Oh my god. I keep checking for its dead body, but it's it's gone. It got up and it flew away after that. I keep checking to make sure I didn't imagine it or it wasn't another one, but it's alive, guys. It's alive. Woo! When did my shirt get inside out? How long's my shirt been inside out, guys? Wait, never mind, it's just backwards. Ha, never mind, and I'm wearing a Nirvana shirt. <laughs> now look at this. Like the song, like, is that his legs though? Like, are you serious? Is that his legs? Oh my God, thank God for the spider web catching all these things. I think I'll leave it. I was gonna clean spider webs today, but they seem to be doing well. <laughs> I probably should clean them though, because then the spiders will build me new ones and then and that one's probably doesn't even have a spider in it, though, if it's got that much and no one's eating out of it, so. Probably was that spiders that I accidentally flushed down the bathtub the other day. I cried. Bang, bang. <laughs> so tell me about why you did that. I'm talking to the liar, but I'm really talking to myself. So tell me about why you did that. Tell me about why the first song you learned on the liar was Axel F. Crazy Frog. And then no matter how many songs you learn, your first will always be Axel F. Crazy Frog. Tell me about, I keep trying to talk to the liar, but really I'm talking to myself. That's the only song you know how to play now. How does that feel? It's funny, it feels funny. Hello, did you hear to come <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't speak. Did you come here to hear me play Crazy Frog? Did the birds tell you I was learning XLF? Crazy Frog? Did they tell you? Did a little birdie tell you? Oh, there's two of you. 
Okay. Okay. Because you don't have to worry about me. I'm just a baby. Yeah, don't need to worry about me. I'm just a baby. I always think they can't hear me in here, and I always think I'm talking to myself. And then I realize they literally can hear me. And this glass is not that thick. All right, guys, here's a little crazy frog. I get so nervous in front of an audience. I always mess up. Bing, bing. Gosh darn, bing, bing. Guys, I'm usually better than this, but you make me nervous. You're so beautiful. You're so gorgeous. I always wanted to be Snow White when I was little, but I thought that would involve singing to birds, not playing my banjo for the deer. I'm gonna keep it 100, 100. I was trying to say that as white as possible. I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys right now, brushing the crumbs off of my bed. This is what bisexuals do. Anyway, actually I'm pan. Anyway, no I'm not. Actually, let's not have a sexuality crisis right now. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I don't know if that bird is alive or dead. That is the God's honest truth. Um, I saw a bird picking at it and I couldn't stand looking at it. So I looked away. Next thing I know, its body was gone. Now did a bird carry it up to a tree and eat it? Maybe. Maybe that did happen. Am I choosing to believe that the bird woke up its bird brother, its brethren, even though they are of two different species? <laughs> yeah, I am going to believe that. That bird is alive. That bird is alive and well, and I will see it tomorrow. I swear to God, today is not real. Today has been 400 days and also zero. I am so confused about what is this world. A couple weeks ago, a guy tried to dap me up. I'm not made for this world. I'm not made for this world. Everyone's been editing Trump to look that orange, right? It's like the one thing CNN and Fox can agree on is that they'll just like edit him oranger, right? Cause that can't be real. I will have to see him in real life before I believe that his Spray tan is that bad and blotchy. And I know so many jokes have already been made about it, like how he has that much money and his hair and his tan are that bad. But like, this world isn't real. Guys, I felt like I was on, I felt like I'm on acid all day. I can't speak. My brain's crazy. It feels like acid and Adderall at the same time. And I'm on nothing. Actually, I just got high to try to calm it down. But that's like five now. All day I felt like that. I'm starting to get a little better, but it's kind of like when you smoke weed on acid and it calms you down a little, but then you start tripping more. <laughs> that's me right now. So I didn't take acid or at all. That's what I'm trying to tell you, but I'm trying to tell my brain that because, oh my God, where does this even go? I was going to make a joke earlier today about um, how every time I decide that it's time to move on for Rory and I'm like, he doesn't even like you, bitch. As soon as I decide that, he likes my story. And then I'm like, all right, we're back on. <laughs> and then I was like, that's too sad and delusional. Do not put that in the vlog. Um, you've already basically made that joke in the vlog. And then... <laughs> I just see this uh, video and it was like, liked your story and then it's Brooklyn Babies playing and it's like Lana running on the beach with children and ASAP Rocky and I'm like, okay, me, okay, okay, me. I'm learning how to line dance. Ain't no time like eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs>